So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download a free climatic dataset like the daily precipitation and temperature dataset from this uh, official website called the National Center for Environmental Information. And the dataset provider is National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And the website link will be given in the description section of this video. So now let me explain about this uh, dataset, the Global Historical Climatology Network Daily version 3. So the dataset integrates the daily climatic observation from approximately the 30 different data sources. So the version 3 contains a station-based measurement from uh, over uh, 90,000 land-based stations worldwide, about a two-third of uh, which are for the precipitation measurement only, and uh, over uh, 25,000 stations are regularly updated with the observation from within uh, roughly the last month. The datasets are also routinely reconstructed from its, uh, its roughly a dirty uh, data sources to ensure the GHCN daily is generally in sync with its growing list of constituent sources. So now let me scroll down. So to download this data set, uh, we are to click this option called NCEI GIS Map Viewer. So you can also go through the time and location, the documentation for this data set, description, credits, keywords, and, uh, and etc. So uh, let me navigate to this option called NCEI GIS map viewer to download this data. So now it's going to load our NOVA dataset. So here you can able to visualize. Uh, this is our GHCN uh, daily dataset. So this particular dataset is only for United States of America. For the global uh, dataset, we have to navigate to this option called WMO. We're going to click this. And now let me turn off this. Uh, GHCN daily. So now we can able to see, uh, see uh, a different climatic station uh, here. A lot of this, uh, data stations been observed here. So let me navigate to my study area. So you can download the data set for your desired location. For example, I'm going to enter as Chennai here. So once you enter it, I'm going to click this and uh, it's going to navigate to the location. The study area that is my study area Chennai so now this is my study area Chennai here so now to select the specific uh, station of your choice so you can navigate to this option called uh, map tools I'm gonna click this so now you can select your specific uh, station of your choice for example I'm gonna click the station here so now here you can able to see in the results section here so it is the uh, NOR observatory, station ID and the period of record is available here. So we can also see the period of record here. It starts from 1901 to 1969. So uh, the period of record is from 1901 to 1969 for this uh, specific station here. And similarly, let me select this particular station here. So now it is uh, indicated here. It is Madras, Meenambakam. So the station ID is uh, given here and the period of record is from 1901 to 2024. You can able to see that. And now uh, we can select this option called rectangle. So now we're going to select my study locations. So uh, I'm going to select all the station that is required for me. So I'm going to use this rectangular tool, uh, tool here. I'm going to select all the stations. So now here all the stations have been selected here, which is uh, shown in the section called results section. Uh, you can able to see the different stations starting from Arakonam. So this station ID is called as Tirutani and this is Tiruvallur. So I needed uh, this particular data for, uh, my, for my study area. So that's why I selected all the stations uh, that is uh, in, an, uh, in and around Chennai area here. So from this section here you can select a specific station of your choice here. So uh, I can select, uh, you can also see the period of uh, record here. So this particular uh, station is from, the uh, period of record is from 1901 to 1970. So you can also select all the stations of its choice just by selecting this option called select all. So I could like to select the data sets that is available from 1901 to uh, 2024. So I could like to select the station called Madras, Meenambakam. Similarly, I'm going to search uh, other uh, stations with the similar uh, period of record. So now I have managed to select my desired station uh, locations. 
So after selecting your desired station locations, so click this option called Add to Cart. So now in this section, we have to select the cart options here. Let me scroll down here. So we're going to select in this file format, custom uh, GHCN daily CSV file format. We're going to click this option. So now I could like to select my uh, date range here. So we have to click this uh, option to select our date range. So let me select the date range here. So selected my date range from 1901 January to uh, 2024. 2024 uh, July. So I've selected my date range from 1901 January to uh, 2024 July. So once you selected your date range, click this option called apply. And after that, you can uh, review the items in your cart here. So now we'll click this option called continue. So now we have this uh, custom options and daily summaries. So the station details and uh, data flag options. So now we're going to select the station name, the geographic location and uh, include the data flags. And in units, we're going to select the metric. So next, uh, we're going to select the data type for the custom output. So uh, I'm going to select this uh, precipitation and uh, in the air temperature, we're going to select all average, maximum and minimum temperature. And once you did that, click this option called continue. And uh, you can able to see the precipitation or given as in the short form PRCP and the average temperature is given as uh, T average and T temp max and T mini uh, T minimum. So next uh, we're going to click this option called continue. So now in the review order, so uh, we have to review the selected items from our uh, request. So this is the requested data review. So data set is our daily summaries. So data start time is 1901 to what 2024. So these are different stations and locations. So the data types are the precipitation and temperature average maximum and minimum. So next we have to enter our mail ID. So we have to enter the mail ID here. So now let me enter my mail ID here. So once you entered your mail ID, so click this option called submit order. So your request was successfully submitted and a mail with the link to, uh, to the requested data set should be sent shortly. So now we're going to check my mail ID. So in your mail ID, you will get this type of mail here. That is uh, National Center for Environmental Information order complete. So let me scroll down here. So now to download this particular file, we have to click this option called download. So let me click this option called download. So my data started downloaded here. So you can able to see that my data has been downloaded. So let me navigate to the folder location. So this is our data set. So it is in CSV file format. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to open this. So from this data set, you can able to find the station ID, the station name, latitude and longitude elevation, date, and precipitation, and uh, temperature average it is given here. So it is daily precipitation data, and this is our temperature average, and this field represents the um, temperature maximum, and this is the temperature minimum. You can able to see that. So this particular data is, uh, it is available from 1901 to 2024. Uh, you can able to see this. There is a lot of data here. So in this, so in this video, I have shown you how to download the, the daily precipitation and the temperature data set from the National Center for Environmental Information. So data set provider is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.